This is the Fortner Report Special Edition. Coming to you today from the Dwyer Garage in Seattle, Washington. And today my guest is the one and only brand new captain of the Brenna A, Sean Dwyer. Sean, let's talk experience. All right. How old are you? 24. 24. Yep. And how many years have you been crab fishing the Bering Sea? Four. And is this, this was your first year as captain? It was, yep. On the Brenna A. Mm -hmm. So when you started to run it this year, we're gonna take it to the Bering Sea. We're gonna we're gonna go give her a whirl. Where did you find your crew? I mean, it was a it was a scramble, really. I mean, so I had one guy that fished with me last year on the Jennifer A. So he had a, a year's worth of experience. Tyree, my engineer. Mm -hmm. Everyone else was just uh, you know people that had given me their numbers here and there. One of Sig's mottos, you know, is you know don't hire your friends. Well, I did hire one of my friends. My my best friend growing up was my greenhorn this year. And uh, that being said, I have fired him from the boat before. He came down when we were in high school, he wanted to do some painting, and uh, you know, he showed up the first day and painted, the second day he showed up late and I fired him. Okay. Fine, you know. I became friends with the rest of my crew, mm -hmm. but the rest of my crew was always business first. Pear was the only one that I knew prior to working on the boat. Did it work out okay? You know. Uh, it was a little rough to start with. I think just because I was used to working with guys with a lot of experience, you know. Uh, the guys that brought me up in the industry have, you know, 30 and, you know, 20 years of experience. And these guys had like two and three years experience. What was it like jumping to the wheelhouse? That's a big jump. Yeah. Going from you're on deck and the captain take care of, takes care of everything to now you're the one in charge. And whenever anything happens, the entire crew, the whole boat, they look to you. Right, wrong, or indifferent, good or bad, it's always on the captain. Yeah. Did you embrace that responsibility and say, let's go? Of course. I mean, I, oh, yeah. To be a good leader, you've got to be confident, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, so, yeah, I mean, try to make a decision quickly and accurately with the information that I have. And, and for the most part, my crew always had my back. I would think that probably one of the most difficult things is, you see them doing something and you're like, that's no, I, I want to, I wouldn't do it that way. And I, but you're, you've got other things going on yeah. and you can't always be paying attention. Was that the hardest thing for you was to. Absolutely. I tried not to micromanage. I mean, it's hard not to pick up that loud hailer and say, no, don't do that. Put this pot tie here or whatever, you know, but yeah. I Did mean, you find yourself refraining this, letting them try to do it. Yeah, definitely. <clears throat> definitely. Captain Sig, Northwestern, well-respected, good boat. What does it take to, to be respected like that? I think your reputation in this industry is everything. Mm -hmm. And so whether you've got one month experience or you know, 20, 30 years, you know, I think what, from what I, what I see and what my opinion is, is I think that you know, it's your reputation, it's how you deal with you know, your business partners and you know, how you conduct yourself that really stands out more than anything else. Mm -hmm. Well, Sean, I really appreciate it. Yeah, you bet. It's been awesome. Hey, this has been a special edition of the Fortner Report from the Dwyer Garage. For more of these, go to discovery.com backslash deadliest catch.